I got this Bosch GPL3 laser level thing off from eBay. This is a current model and it retails for about £180. And I paid about £9, £10 for it, I can't remember, I'll put it here. It came fully boxed with a carry case and the instructions. Very nice. And the problem with it is, I don't know, <laughs> but I'll show you. Let me turn it on. It's got batteries in. I don't know how well this is going to come across on the camera, but you can see the red flashing light, presumably. And what this is supposed to do, it's supposed to be self-leveling. So we've got a laser beam here and a freaking laser beam here. You're supposed to leave it on, on a flat surface, which this is, and it's supposed to level. Now, I've read the instructions, and the flashing red light, well, it can mean one of two things. It can mean that the batteries are low, which they're not, the brand new batteries, or it can mean that it can't find its level. Now, I presume these things have got some kind of, uh, I can hear it, in fact, like a pendulum, a gimbal type thing. And when it's not moving like that, that should set in the middle and it should work, as far as I know. Ooh, Uzi 9mm. So it could be as simple as the batteries, maybe not all of the battery power is getting into the device, in which case it thinks the batteries are low. But I'm not convinced, I think it's something else. I think this has probably been dropped, even though it looks, well, it looks brand new. I don't know. Let's try and take this apart. I can see there's some screws on this side here. I think this bottom bit comes off. Yes, it does. Let's see if we can get into this. Please a level thing. What could go wrong? Let's try and find out. I'll take you all along. Will the freaking laser beams ever fire true? Like the point forty five using T one ninety two. First I gotta thank the top tier members supporting me through my stupid adventures. Couple of new ones make no mistakes. Mainly badger squatch and the mega kid pigs. Daft really done with John Push it did Hulega. Definitely never rhyme that with Boris Pecker. IRL tools would give a sorry cat. Back to Princess Blizzard and Flynn, my David Platt. Oz Newton Jam, like a T1 base. Skyview 22 down the slow as T from outer space. Make items for Loki, that's a fucking style. Just like the cliff with his mistletoe and wine. RVE to the flux and we'll tin man. Plant jockey tangle burn Jonathan Harden. Western and Western, Nate for Chauvier. Close to the end, so do not despair. Andrea Fascio, Adam Taylor, Infinity. Machiavist 19, Jonathan Wiggs, I decree. Let's fix this laser thing, do it for show. One more though, say hello to Monkey Joe Tokyo. So this must be the pendulum type thing. Yeah, how am I going to show you that? Because it obviously has to be that way. <laughs> but I can see the pendulum here. Okay, so we've got it here. Let's use this implement. There you go, you can see it moving. And I presume it goes, yeah, it goes back and forth and left and right. And that seems to be okay. Seems to be leveling itself. But maybe this thing just thinks that it isn't level, even though it is. So at this point here, that's where the 4.5 volts is going to be, isn't it? I can check that. There we go. 4.4 volts. So that should be enough. Oh, I said that. That is quite low, isn't it? Maybe I should try different batteries in it. Just to be on the safe side. Same thing. So I really need to know if the four and a half volts is traveling where it needs to go. Anyway, if I inject voltage here and here, 4.5 volts, let's see if it does anything different. Press the switch at the bottom. Yeah, same thing. I wonder if it's something to do with this pendulum. We try and hold it to the right. No, I'm not convinced it is. I I think it's a a power problem. So we've got positive, negative on here. 
Don't know what that does. Let's follow this round. Very, very thin wire. And then that must go somewhere behind here. I can see a few strands. I don't know what they're for. I'm just going to pop this under the microscope because I'm a bit worried that there's some kind of like enameled wire here and I don't want to go pulling at things. Let's just have a quick look. There's like a couple of strands here. I'm guessing they run down to the pendulum. Yes. Yeah, I don't want to damage anything here. I need to be very careful. Now, there is a screw here. Let's see if I can get that out. I mean, obviously this thing is a precision instrument, isn't it? So you think all this inside is all finely tuned, but it's obviously not working, so no, it's moving. Okay, the enamel wires have come with it, which is good. All right, where do they go? Flip this round. So the positive and the negative go into these points here. And then I think we've just got two enameled wires running from these positive and negatives down there somewhere. It's a shame this is all covered. Where do they go? They go here. Ah, did I do that? I don't think I used, I didn't use any force there whatsoever. But I, <laughs> did I just do that, really? <sighs> or was that broken? I hardly touched it. I wonder if it was that. Where did he go to? This little circuit board down here. And there's some funky things going on there. I've got no idea. Well, these bits are sticking out. I'm not going to go messing with them. Enameled wire. Oh, wow, what's that? Is that corrosion? What is that? That appears to be where those wires are. Um, oh, I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's meant to be like that. There's some on this side as well. Although, I'm not convinced. I wonder if the whole problem is this positive and this negative, we're not getting the power from that board at the top. Let me get some IP on this, clean it up a bit. This is interesting. Or is it? Oh, I wish I had to snap that wire now. I mean, I don't know if I did snap it. Maybe it was already snapped, but I could check for continuity, couldn't I? From the battery points to there. Maybe I can still do that with the wire that isn't broken. Which is the one that's under here. No. Try the positive wire. Pretty sure it's the positive wire that I broke. Nope. Well, the positive wire is, is there. But the negative wire isn't. And is that because I broke it? Or is it because it was already broken? I think to test it, I'm going to run a wire. But I suppose I'd better run it from here, hadn't I? I don't think that's connected there. You see it there? I'm moving that and the wire is not attached. I hope you can see that on the camera. So I think I did break that wire but all along it wasn't attached there. Yeah, it's definitely not attached. Okay, well I'm going to see if I can run another wire. I'm going to leave that one there because it's enamel. It's not going to not going to harm anything. Run another wire from that little point that I can see there and run it round to where it's supposed to go. Exciting. Or is it? Right, 
we're in. This is 0.1mm wire, by the way, in case anyone's wondering. Which means it's freaking tiny. Right, I think we're good. Let's test for continuity from there to the negative of the battery. Negative to here. Nice. Right, I'm just going to crudely put it back together. Let's test it. And then I'm going to worry about tidying it up. Right. Let's put the 4.5 volts into it. We're in. Uh, let's flip the switch. Do the same thing. Damn. I'm sure that was it. Positive. It's going to positive. Not touching negative. Negative. Is going to negative. It's obviously not that then. Oh, I'm sure that was going to be it. Uh, I am going to put it back together fully. Because I find it odd. I I'm pretty sure that the... One of those wires was broken, and that was the problem, but what do I know? All right, let's try that. Let's try that. Is it going to work? I'm guessing... I, well, actually, no, I don't think it will. Because I think it would have worked while it was partly back together. Well, there we go, let's test it. No, it's still doing the same thing. Wait, this is positive. It's not it's not going to the red wire here. Why? Damn It's really difficult to work on here. Let's unsolder the two wires. They are marked positive and negative, so should be okay. So all I was checking was from these points here to round here and yeah we are now getting continuity what I wasn't checking is that we're going from the battery terminals to these points here i.e. are we getting any voltage in this thing I don't think we are something must on this board tell it when to output the power okay let's see if we can work it out all right what have we got on this board we've got a little chip we've got some resistors some capacitors a diode. So the contacts that run up to the pendulum are these two here. The negative is the round one and the positive is the square one. Let's see if we can work this out. I'm going to go backwards from there. So that goes into there. This one Goes to this side of the capacitor, this side of this capacitor, side of this resistor, side of this diode. Right. I wonder whether it's the diode. So we get a reading of 0.2 that way, and nothing that way. 0.2 seems low, but it is in circuit. Uh, oh, I don't know. I mean, what's this chip doing? Gone from having high hopes to having almost no hope. Right, the positive terminal of the battery goes here. It runs around to whatever that is, test point there. Then it goes into this diode. Then it comes out the diode, goes to that test point, and goes around to here. What's that? It's got another diode here. And then it comes out of that goes through that hole and that hole goes back out of that hole and then I think goes into that chip so it could be at any point along on here couldn't it struggling I right, got 4.5 volts at that side of the diode got 4.37 at the other side 4.37 4.37 and then nothing. 
So it goes into this little diode here. It doesn't come back out again. So is it that diode? And it is in circuit, isn't it? But the problem I've got is if it is that, I've got no idea what to replace that with. Because the voltage stops there and for no other reason, <laughs> I'm going to try and take this diode off and measure it out of circuit. All right, let's do this. There it is, a little spider. I'm hoping it's failed, but I also hope it hasn't failed because oh, I've got no idea how to replace it. All right, so between there and there, I'm getting nothing, which is probably right. Let's flip the leads. And then from there and there, also nothing. So has this completely failed or am I reading it incorrectly? Is it not a diode? I don't know. Should be open both ways, should it? A diode just lets the voltage through one way, but not the other way, doesn't it? No, I can't. I'm just wondering whether I could just jumper that bit so the voltage goes through, but then am I risking it going backwards? I mean, just, just to test it. I don't know, is that bad? Is that a bad thing? Am I being bad? Who's bad? The only diodes I have are these. IN5399. I figure if I'm gonna. <laughs> I don't know because I don't want to replace it with. And I can't find schematics. I don't know what to do. But I figure if, if I at least put diodes in, two diodes to replace this, which is presumably two diodes inside this little package, if I put two of these in its place, I'm gonna do it. How do I know which way around to put a diode? So the current moves from the anode to the cathode. Anode is the positive side. So that means the line on the diode is the cathode. And the voltage is coming in here and going that way. So I must have to put it in like this. I mean, I don't know whether I'm even going to be able to get these in because they're quite big. Is that going to get in the way of anything? Don't know. Well, let's find out. <laughs> Alright, this is probably going to explode. So rather than putting it all back together and watching it explode, I'm just going to put the bench power supply on this. And let's just see if that voltage is now getting through. <laughs> I doubt it. Well, it's not exploded yet. Right, let's see if we've got it on the battery terminals. We're getting 3.5 volts when go when I go from the negative terminal there. But on here, it's it's coming and then going. So it is there on those diodes, 3.5. So maybe it was, oh no, I'm sure that, that diode was faulty, but maybe something else further down the line was putting the fault on. Or maybe it needs to see the rest of the circuit before it turns on. I wish I knew what I was doing. Let's solder these back on for fun. And then we'll see if it explodes. <laughs> Okay, is it going to do the same thing? Is it going to do something different? Is it going to explode? Who knows? I certainly don't. Right, what do we think it's going to do? Same thing or absolutely nothing? I'm going for absolutely nothing now because I think I've ruined it. Here we go. 
Same thing. It is doing the same thing. That diamond was definitely 40 that I took off, right? The amp drawer is jumping around like the multimeter was when I was checking voltage. I still think there's something wrong on this board. And it's not those diodes, I don't think. Could be. I suppose what I'm really looking for then is a stable voltage out of this. Which at the moment I'm not getting. There you go, you can see it's all over the shop. Uh, I'm not doing very well here. I wonder what the voltage is supposed to be at the lasers. I wish I had a working one. I could swap this board over and see if it was this board. I might be chasing something that isn't there. I wonder if it's this chip. I'm beginning to suspect that it is. What does it say? Atmel, Atmel 1024, Tiny13V10SSU. Let's see if we can find out what that is. Right, I found it on Farnell's. The Atini 13 volt 10 SSU is a low power 8 bit CMOS microcontroller based on the AVR enhanced RASC architecture. It means nothing to me. But I'm not sure if that's something you can just buy a replacement for off the shelf. I don't know whether it needs to be programmed. I don't know much. But I know I love you. Yeah. Uh I think I'm going to have to give up on this. What I've just tried is... I wasn't getting stable voltage here. And when I just went to a direct ground and the positive, I was. So all I've done is I've run a little jumper wire. Because this switch switches the negative. When you, when you switch it on, it puts the two negatives together. I've run a jumper from... One side of the switch, so when it's switched on, to the negative pad here, which then runs up here to there. And I am now getting a stable voltage. I'm not saying it's the right voltage. Let me show you. So we turn this on. So we've now got 4.5 volts going to this, which is what you would get from the batteries. So when I go across these two points, I get nothing. But then when I switch it on... You can see the red laser beam comes on and isn't flashing and I'm getting a stable 4.1 volts and the beam is solid. So... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put it back together and let's see if it works. I mean, in theory, that's all it needs to be. It's, it's a point laser. It's not one with a cross beam. So as long as that laser's on, that means it's working, right? Hmm... And that's with my dodgy diode thing and the bodge wire from a ground. I mean, I don't know whether it's going to work properly, but let's put it back together and let's find out. There we go. Let's test it. Solid freaking laser beam. And here. And here. I mean, I don't really know what you'd use this for. <laughs> I presume it's... So you've got something underneath here and then what it does is it will project that perfectly straight up and put a dot on the ceiling as well and then this one is I don't know 90 degrees I mean I'm not a builder or anything so uh, don't know why I bought it really but I think it works so even with those bodgy diodes and the bodgy jump wire it's bodgy working. I mean, I'm sure it'll explode sooner rather than later, but for now, 
it's a stupid laser point leveling thing. Because I'm bad, I'm bad, Shamo. You know I'm bad, I'm bad, you know it. You know I'm bad, I'm bad, Shamo. You know, and the whole world has to answer right now just to tell you once again who's bad.